not all pottery beds are the same, or not all brawlers beds are the same. One is more suitable to sell at four weeks. One is stronger against cold. One is stronger against heat, and one grows taller than the other. So in today's video, we are going to talk about brawlers breed and their hatchery. That's what we want to discuss in today's video. The reason why you should not just buy any brawler's bread because people are buying it. People buy brawler's bread based on different reasons. Some buy beds that grow faster and sell them off for four weeks. Some buy other type of brawler's bread because they grow taller and are easier to sell off. Some buy brawler based on the type of temperature and weather condition because they are brawler that are stronger against cold and some are stronger against heat. So we have different reasons why we buy Bola's bed. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the four best type of Bola's bread we have in Nigeria and the hatchery that produce them, the advantage they have over themselves, and you get to know which you should go for when you are ready to start poultry farming or when you are into poultry farming. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So now, let's outline those brawlers bed one is the ross 308 two cob 500 three abo acre four marshall so now we are going to explain them one after the other let's start with ross 308 the ross 308 they don't grow very tall and are always short but very fat they can withstand cold but they hate heat Ross 308 grow faster than other Brolas breed. They have good conversion ratio and are more suitable to be raised for 4 to 6 weeks and then sell them off. They can weigh up to 2.5 kg at 5 weeks of age. The hatchery that produce these beds include the Syed and the Agritech hatchery. That is all about the Ross 308. The next breed is the Cop 500. They are not as fast growing as the Ross 308, but they grow taller than Ross 308. They can't withstand cold and often sneeze and contact C. Arudi, which is chronic respiratory disease, easily when they are still a day old chick. They are also strongly resistant to heat more than Ross 308 and more agile and resistant to disease. So now the hatchery that produces COP 500 include the Zatec. Olam, Cascade, and NPG. The next bit is the Abo Acre. They are more similar to Ross 308 and can weigh up to 2.7 kg at week 6 of age. They have average daily weight gain of 93 gram and average daily weight gain of 79 gram at 8 week of age under good condition. They are also more resistant to disease. The hatchery that produce this abo acre are the Amo, the CHI, which is the Chi, and the Fida. The last but not the least that I want to talk about in today's video is the Mashal. The only disadvantage is that Mashal doesn't grow up fast like the other breed, but there are brewers that grow the tallest among the brewers' breed, that is, they grow very tall, and they are more required during the celebration period because of their physical appearance. They can stay up to 12 weeks before you can start to market them or to sell them. So that is all about the breed of Bula's bed we have in Nigeria. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video. Bye.